What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be starting my brand new series that I've been telling you all about on Instagram and Twitter and obviously other social medias. So I haven't really got a good name for this yet. It's going to be called Instagram posts, I guess, Instagram designs. So basically what I'm going to be doing is taking some of the posts that famous, well, sports, you know, channels do. Um, so maybe some football channels, maybe some, you know, American football channels, basketball. So the posts they make, and then what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to make them. Um, so basically I did this previously with the uh, Cristiano Ronaldo one that I made. So a lot of, that was a lot of positive feedback on that. So obviously it's something that you guys would like to see, I think. Um, let me know in the comments if that, this is something you want me to continue. So uh, this is going to be episode one, even though it's technically number two. But obviously go back, watch the Ronaldo video, and then you'll sort of get the gist of what's going on here. So today we've got a photo of the match, Rudiger poster design. Now this is a really simple one. I thought start off with a simple one to begin with. And then probably next week or in a couple of weeks, we have a Norwich versus Liverpool poster match day thing. So I made that recently. Obviously, they played them a couple of weeks ago and they won. The design is what counts. So I may redo that in a different team or something like that um, and show you the original and then basically go from there. Let's get straight into the video. Um, thank you so much for watching. All the support and everything. All the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. So guys, first things first, you are going to need to get the texture pack. So obviously, <laughs> I keep saying it at the start of every video, but obviously it's a bit repetitive now. Um, yeah, just download the link down below, texture pack, and then you'll have all the images. You can turn this off and uh, yeah, you'll have the images that you need for the design, um, the frame and the texture. So once you've got that, you're going to go to a new document. Uh, this is going to be 1080 by 1350. And then we are just going to go OK. So what you want to do first Basically, you want to get um, the main image of Rudiger. So this is going to be the main image, and we're going to just drop this in. So I've already done some editing to this, uh, so there's not really anything you need to do. Um, I'm just going to go into the smart object first and then show you what I've added. So I've added a high pass. So the high pass is two, and then what I've done is double click this on the side and I've changed it to overlay on the blending mode. So this will add just an extra added bit of texture as you see there. Um, and then an unsharp mask, which is filter, sharpen, unsharp. And this is probably gonna be 22 and then zero. So this will add another nice little bit of texture. And then the camera will filter, which sort of brings all the colors together. Um, so let me just double click this and it'll open up. Uh, the main thing about this is just the highlights and then a little bit of clarity and dehaze and a tiny bit of sharpening noise reduction. So I've got that in as well, and then I've changed that one to luminosity. So that's all you need to know about that really, that, that that's fine, um, we're just gonna click okay with that. But what you need to do is name your layers, and then we can get started. So go back into your texture pack and get this thing called the frame. So we want the frame, and we're just gonna drag and drop this in, and we're gonna position this right down in the center of the design like that. Now I can see it's gonna be cutting off a little bit of his arm, but that's fine. We don't need to worry about that. We're here to make you know the photo of the match. You want most of his body in it, but you want obviously sort of an action shot. So you don't wanna make it any smaller or anything. You want it big, you want the frame to be big because it's obviously presenting him. Once we've got that, we're gonna do a little selection. So let's select our Rudiger main. Take a selection from the edge of the frame. Make sure you fill the whole thing out, otherwise you don't wanna leave any white space. So obviously like that. And then you're just gonna go down here to layer mask and click layer mask. Now, as you can see, he is inside the frame. So that was pretty simple, wasn't it? Um, but you know, that is a key thing to this design. You wanna make sure you've got that right. So we're gonna do that. Next thing we're gonna do is add some text to the frame. So if we zoom in, we can see that there's not a lot of text down here or down the uh, left here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just uh, write Chelsea. Then you're gonna to need to change this to a white color and now we can bring this in. So obviously it's gonna need to be a lot smaller than this. Um, you wanna make sure it's small enough to fit down the side, but obviously big enough to be able to see. So you can zoom right in for this. Um, just make sure you get it sort of aligned like that, and that's good. And now what we're gonna do is go to this thing called the kerning. So the kerning is gonna be the space between the letters. So you see the CH, if I pull this along, you'll see they all move. So you wanna make this really spread out, like probably about, mm, probably about a thousand I would say. So you wanna make this really spread out so it spreads across the whole design. You can still read it, but it's just about enough um, so it looks good. So we're gonna duplicate that, Command J. Gonna take this over to the other side, spin it round, and then we're gonna type 
um, come on the blues. So something simple like that. That's nothing too major. And then we're just going to go Command T, bring this down. So about there. That's good. That fills that out a little bit. Now with this side, you could probably reduce the kerning a little bit to about, I don't know, about 800, just so that it's not too overwhelming. So there's a little bit of space between the two uh, numbers. And now if I zoom out, you can see it just fills it out a little bit more. So if we turn these off, a little bit boring, turn them on, adds another little bit of extra um, element to the design. That's all done. We've got that all prepared. So we can convert that to a smart object now. That's good. So what we need to do now, we've got that. Let's go and prepare the next bit of our background. So we can leave that there, probably just lock lock it for now because we don't want to sort of be moving it around and stuff. It's in a perfect place. We'll turn those two off. And then what we're going to do is open this images folder. So there's a lot of different images here, um, but this is going to be where you mainly prepare most of the design because these are going to be the main part of it really. Um, so we're going to select probably two of these for now. Let's just take two. And now what we're going to do is position them where we think they should go. So obviously you're going to want to get a little bit of the face. You're going to want to get some of the action shots. So obviously these are all going to be below. So we want to make sure that we are positioning them, uh, you know, in the right areas. Obviously that's pretty good there. Now, if you want to make, if you want to unlock the main image and make it a little bit smaller so you can see a little bit more of what's going around. Um, that's perfectly fine. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, just because sometimes you might not be able to get most of the images in and it won't look great. So let's drag another two across. Um, and then we're just going to sort of place this one down here. So you can see you've got a good action shot there of Rudiger. And then we're going to get this one that's behind him of Tuchel. Get a nice little picture of him. See these are all good but once we've added all of them into position what we're going to do is get a layer mask and then just cut a little bit away. So we did this in the Man United video. It's obviously an in technique at the moment, so you may as well learn it. So you get a torn paper brush and then we're just going to cut the edges just so they um, they look like they've been stuck on each other. So that's that. Let's get two more here. Put these up the side. So we've got Trevor Chalaber. We've got Thiago Silva when he scored his header against uh, Tottenham, I think it was. Yeah, Tottenham. Um, now, obviously, guys, you can make these a little bit bigger because obviously they aren't all going to fit um, perfectly. So you play around with them and put them where you see fit. Um, it's completely up to you what you do with them. So we've got a big one of Lukaku there. I think that one's pretty pretty good there because you know he's obviously been one of their stars this year. So you want that to be the forefront. And then we're just going to make this one a little bit bigger here of Trevor Chalaba. And there we go. Okay, guys. So it doesn't look like much, does it, at the moment? It looks a bit stupid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start layering out some of these. So I'm going to add a layer mask to this Likaka one up top. And then if I scroll down to my torn paper brushes. Now, if you don't have these brushes, do not worry. The link will be down below. So just go down below. It'll be named torn paper brush. And you just click the link and download them. Um, and you should be fine. Um, so... Let's get that. And now we just need to pick number one brush and make sure our opacity is at 100% and just start cutting away this image. So a bit like that. See, we've still got Lukaku. We've got Reese James there now. So now we can go to the Reese James image, which is at the bottom, and then just layer mask that bit out. But obviously, as you can see, there's a white background. We don't want this. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this image of Lukaku down here bigger so it fills a bit more. And then we are going to get a layer mask on the Lukaku image. And now we're going to start cutting away. So that looks good. So obviously you've got to pick your images. Some of them aren't going to be perfect because they just they just don't work for this type of thing. And then there's some that will look good. Um, so it's, it's pretty much just trial and error, guys. So again, I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. Add a layer mask to the one in the bottom right. And then I'm just going to rip the edge. Now... This one's quite big, so I should be able to do it here as well. So there you go. You can see it really splits these two images at the bottom. Two nice face photos. It's going to work really well when you actually see what we do with it at the end. So now we've got this Tiago Silva image. Uh, I'm just going to see how big it is. So it does overlap a little bit. Now we can cut his legs off a little bit. So let's just rotate our brush again. Go in here, make a nice little rip. That looks nice. We could probably do it on the top. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, we can't do it on the top. Um, so we're probably going to make this image up here a little bit bigger. And then we're going to just add a layer mask, start cutting away. So now we have this nice little gradient at the top of that image, which will look nice once it's all done. Um, and that's nice. Let's just extend that a little bit. There we go. 
Okay, so also I know everybody who loves Chelsea loves Mason Mount, but I'm going to have to probably cut his head away here a little bit um, so that we can fit that image in. And then we're just going to scale this one up a little bit as well so we can rip it again. Um, so all this is just layer masking out, guys. Nothing too intense. Um, you just need to make sure that you're layer masking the right bits out. So don't want to layer mask too much out, but you want to make sure that you're layer masking enough out so that it looks, you know, nice. Um, let's just do that. There we go. That's good. Okay, so I've gone through that pretty quickly. Obviously, take your time so you get the right, you know, the right style that you want. You don't have to put the images like this. Obviously, if you're using different images, just make sure you get... I, I would say make sure you get the faces in. That's the main one, obviously, because they're going to be, you know, it's a focus point, so you want people to look at them. Um, but once you've done that, that that's all good. Uh, now we can convert this to a smart object. So we're going to select all our images, and then we're going to go to Convert to Smart Object, and then that's going to happen. So what we need to do now, we need to add some effects to these images. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Filter, Other, High Pass. Make sure this is at 2, and then it's going to add to the bottom here. So what you need to do is click this like double line, double arrow thing, and then you're just going to go to your blending options and click Overlay. And as you can see, if I turn this on and off, just adds an extra bit of texture which looks really nice um, so we got that then we're going to add a unsharpened mask same again 20 2.0 and then threshold zero um, and then we're going to add a camera or filter so i've got a preset already made so i'm just going to load this and I'm just, it's called sharpen effect but you can make your own um, it's literally just the same as i showed you earlier 20 contrast minus 30 on and plus 30 on the blacks and whites and highlights and shadows um, clarity is 20 plus and then dehaze is 10 plus and then sharpening and noise reduction is 15 so that's really all you need to know about that once it's down here we're going to change this blending option to luminosity just so it doesn't blow out the colors too much and that's really nice okay guys so we've got our images in the background prepared they're going to look really nice once we actually you know get to this next bit that i'm going to show you now we're going to go to our blending options down here and add a black and white filter so we've added a black and white filter now i know this doesn't look great at the moment but you know bear with me um and now we're going to add a solid color over the top of this so it's going to be a black solid color going to make this quite dark so something about 1c 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 and then what we're going to do is just reduce the opacity a little bit about 95 percent is where i'm going to leave that i might put it down a little bit just so i can see the faces a little bit more Obviously, you can reduce the opacity of this as well, but obviously I wouldn't recommend unless you change the background color. So let's just change the black background color to a dark color. Um, and then we can just reduce the opacity of this just so that they don't come through too much. So if I put the um, original image up now, you'll see that they're quite faded out, but you can still see the faces, which is what you want. So take your time with that. Make sure I have a black um, solid color behind the images and one above the images and just play around with the uh, opacity of what you want. So let's go about 90%, I'm going to say. And now we need to go back to our texture pack and get the dust and scratches texture that I've got you. And we're nearly done, guys. So we've got this here. I'm probably going to put it quite far up the top. And what I'm going to do is just change this to screen, then reduce this down to about 30% about because once we use the camera filter, it's always going to, you know, um, it's always going to get stronger with the texture we use. So. That's about it for the preparation, guys. There's nothing too much. Um, only thing we need to add now is photo of the match. So that's pretty simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nice blue rectangle along here. Uh, change that to blue. So the blue I've picked is 0691ED. Now we're going to need a little text tool. So uh, you can probably pick, you can choose Anton if you want. You can pick whatever font you want, guys. And then I'm going to go photo. I'm just going to reduce the kerning to zero on this image um, and then change it to a white. Now what we can do, make this nice and big, duplicate this of the, and then we're just going to go command T, rotate this, minim uh, not minimize, um, make it a little bit smaller just so that it touches the tops of the text. There we go. And then we're just going to go over here and click match. Okay. There we go, guys. So. Now we've got that, we're probably going to need to make this whole thing a little bit bigger. So let me just extend that a little bit. Let's select all this, move it along. Okay, so let's group 
these together, convert the text to a smart object so you've got them all in the group. Now we're just going to go align this in the blue rectangle, convert that to a smart object, then just move it below the texture. And then the last thing to do is rotate it. So about there, looks really nice. So we zoom out, there we go. Got a nice little photo of the match. That looks good. So the only thing to do now guys is add a camera or filter. So obviously um, all you need to do is go to camera or filter, make a screenshot, command shift option E, uh, make a screenshot, go to filter, camera or filter. And then we're just gonna add some basic you know, treatment to the image. So about 30 exposure, contrast you can bring up obviously to about 60 maybe bring the exposure down a little bit as well actually don't want to blow the colors up too much highlights reduce those shadows increase them whites reduce those blacks increase them texture obviously you can bring this up a little bit don't want to bring it up too much because obviously it would get quite harsh on the background you don't really want that clarity you can bring it up to about 20 i'd say dehaze a little bit 10 Vibrance and saturation, bring those up. It's really nice, looking nice so far. Curves, obviously just make a simple S curve. Um, that's nice, sharpening, bring that up a little bit. Noise reduction up a little bit. Color noise as well, there we go, that's good. And now color mixer, you can obviously, uh, what I like to do is make the blue a little bit brighter, so something like that. Just makes it pop a little bit more and makes it a bit more fun to look at, so that's the only reason I do it. Um, and obviously you can increase saturation as well. Color grading, you don't really need to mess around with that because a lot of this is, you know, just a single image, there's not much color in it. Um, effects, you can add a probably a 20 grain and then a nice little vignette as well. So as you can see now, guys, as we're doing this camera filter, you can still see the faces, but obviously they're really dark, but it looks good because um, it shows they are still there. And then that's about it. So if I do a before and after, you can really see the colors in the image pop, which look really nice. Um, the photo of the match looks great and then these background images and the texture looks really nice so that's it guys that is how simple it is to make a post which has been used by Chelsea FC themselves they obviously posted this after a match uh, I think it was the Tottenham match they made uh, this poster for so yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed obviously new series starting hopefully you re really enjoy that video obviously if you want to see more of this series just let me know in the comments down below if you don't want to see any more of it i won't do it i won't do any instagram posts if you want to just see original designs that's fine obviously just let me know um and yeah thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next video